You can create type by drawing a text box, which will give you more flexibility. You can also create text with no text box. Hi, my name is Micah Chow. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use the type tool in Illustrator. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, when I release more content like this, you'll get notified. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. The character panel allows easy access to text formatting and customization. Go ahead and change the font sizes or the type to any of these exercises. Let's open up the character panel. Let's go to Window, Type, Character. Or you can use a keyboard shortcut which is Command T for a Mac or Control T for a PC. In the toolbar, you will notice two type icons. One is a T, which is a type tool, and the other type tool is in a shape. Creating point type. Point type stands by itself. This is good for headlines, titles, or even short passages of text. When you're using a type tool in the latest version of Adobe Illustrator, as soon as you start using a type tool, it will automatically add lorem ipsum. This is a design term called greeking or filler text, or some call it dummy text. Go ahead and select the type tool. If you click once on the artboard with the type tool, it creates a two-word line of text, lorem ipsum. Now with the type tool still selected, click and drag a text box. The text will automatically fill the box with lines of type. In older versions of Illustrator, you will get the blinking cursor and you would have to enter the text manually. Let's hover over the area type tool, which is a T in a shape icon. You would notice a small triangle in the bottom right hand corner of this icon. This tells us we have a tearaway panel and lets us have additional type tools without having to click and hold to use them. By clicking and holding this tool so I can pull it out of the tools and be a standalone panel of tools. There are two area type tools, one is area type tool and vertical area type tool that goes top to bottom. Area type tool creates type inside an open or closed path. The lines of type that area is created with this tool automatically wraps inside the path. Vertical Aero Type Tool creates a vertical type inside an open or closed path. To enter type inside an object, create a geometric shape or any type of shape. Click on the edge of a path. The text will automatically fill the box with lines of type. In the Layers panel, the layer will change from a shaped object to a lorem ipsum layer. If you notice, and any fill, stroke, or brush stroke on the object is gone. If you want to change the text in the shape, select the text. Or if it's still selected, it will be highlighted in black. The type will go from edge to edge. And you can go ahead and change the text. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Vertical area type folds from top to bottom and from right to left. To make the type fit center within the object, make sure the object is selected and open the paragraph panel, Windows, Type, and Paragraph. Click on the center icon, second from the left, Open the line panel, click either the line center, command shift C, or control shift C. If you want the color of the object, such as a circle, box, rectangle, but not the type, deselect the text box, use and choose the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow tool, click on the edge of the object, or click on any of the open nodes of the object. Pick a color in the color swatches. You should be able to add color to the object now. If you want to change the text color, use the direct selection tool, the white arrow tool, and click on the text and select the color in the swatches. If you don't want the type to touch the edge of the object, just change the inset spacing. Choose Type, Area Type Option. This will open a dialog box called the Area Type Options. Click on Preview to show you in real time what changes you have done. In the offset area, either use the up or down arrow or enter a value for inset spacing to adjust the space between the edge and the type. In the first baseline option, change it either to accent to have the top of the tallest characters in the line touch the top of the object. Cap hype is to have the top of the uppercase letters touch the top of the object. And fix is enter a minimum value for the location of the baseline of the first line of text. While working in the area type options dialog box, I prefer to use the offset spacing because it's much easier to use. But you can use other options listed in the box. There are two path type tools. Type on a path and vertical type on a path. Type on a path tool creates a line of type along the outer edge of an open or closed path. Vertical type on a path tool creates vertical type along the outer edge of an open or closed path. Have you ever wondered how the type can be set on a curve, a wavy line, or a circle? First draw a wavy line with a pen tool. Once done, click the type on a path or vertical type on a path. Click on the edge of a path. The text will automatically fill the box with lines of type. If you want to change the text, select the text. Or if it's still selected, it will be highlighted in black. And you can go ahead and change the text. To do special effects to your type, choose Type on a Path Options. Go to your menu, choose Type, Type on a Path, 
Type My Path Options. A new dialog box will open. When you are ready, choose your Type on a Path with the Selection tool, the black arrow. Check Preview in the dialog box so that you can see this in real time. Go ahead and experiment with the Type Options. And when you're happy with the effect, click on OK. With the path still selected, click on any of the brackets left, center, or right to reposition your type. For it to show up, choose the type on a path with the selection, the black arrow, or the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.